testing out red, copper, square, bam! Bam! bam. Okay guys, so this pan claims to be anti-stick. It comes with five different pieces. Okay, this is a steamer. You put it on the bottom of the pan, put a little water underneath, and it steams your food. Comes with a fryer if you want a fry job. Ah, my <laughs> hair, no! Comes with a lid that What's has a ventilator hole. Which okay. uh, releases steam, if you didn't know that. Now it also claims that it's the only pan you'll ever need. It says it broils, bakes, steams, fries, sautés, braises, deep fries, and roasts. He just okay. got roasted! <laughs> so, my wife, John's mom, is going to cook something to test and see if it sticks. Woo! <laughs> Alright guys. Hey guys, so we're trying to sauté here and it's not heating up as good as our other pans. This is more boiling than sautéing. It should have like a brownish color to it. Now we do have it on a very high heat. Now it may be due to the thickness of the pan, but compared to our other pans, this is definitely not sautéing as well. Alright guys, so we're going to try to the chicken now and see if that sticks. Now if you can see, it, it didn't really sauté. So now we'll check the non-stick. Alright guys, so we have our chicken cooking. Now I just want to point out real quick that this side of the pot right here, do not touch. It's extremely hot. Now the handle isn't as high as you can see. I could grab it. And we have this on high. Now all our other pans, we've never cooked all the way on high. And this doesn't seem to be cooking well. But once again, I'm not going to stop stressing do not grab this barehanded, it is extremely hot. Okay guys, so as you see, it is not browning at all. How is it supposed to fry something if it doesn't brown? I mean, like seriously guys. So now we're gonna put in the sauce. And I gotta mix it around. And I do not think the chicken's gonna be well. I mean, maybe it'll be grilled chicken, not like, Looks more like a boiled chicken than a than a sautéed chicken. I, I, it's not even sautéing at all. It should be brown. Guys, it should be brown. I mean, we our regular pots they would have been, had this like over burnt by now. Now you guys do got to keep in mind we've been doing this for over 20 minutes now, and it definitely should have browned. So this is more boil than anything. It's like a stew. Alright guys, so pretty much this is a pomodoro sauce. It's definitely going to taste different because it's more braised than sautéed. And we couldn't get the heat high enough. My wife tried all different ways and it just didn't work. So, we're going to taste it and taste let you know. John's going to taste it. Yum yum. Serve me. <laughs> Thank you. It's piping hot. Looks it like it. Okay, so let's taste it. It's it's different than my mother's sauce usually when it's not in this. Let's taste the chicken. The chicken is good. Let's have it all together. Guys. So pretty much it did work, but not the way we like it. We are going to do other reviews on it. We're going to do a roasted chicken. We're going to do some eggs, see if it sticks. But for now, this is our review. I'm, I'm in between on this one. I'm not thumbs down or a thumbs up. We'll let you guys know at a later date after we do the roasted chicken and the fried eggs, see if it really works. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. He's Garfield. He, like, eats everything. <laughs> And Blue is ready for dinner. <laughs> yum, yum. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.